of peace. Heavens, fools, God of creation, Father God Almighty, Father, we'll lift up your banner higher, solar God. We'll announce you as the soon coming king, as the one they want to rebel on, Lord God, as the one they want to fashion this new world order, as the one they want to throw in your face as a rebellious people, as the one they want to come against you with, and they say that you can do nothing, Father, but we will surely do to your glory, Father God. We will rise up as an army with the truth, Lord God. They cannot, they cannot harm us. They cannot, no weapon formed against us can prosper, none, because your blood is victorious for us, Lord God. Your blood, your blood, Lord Jesus, your blood, Father. Your blood, Lord God, your blood, your blood, Yeshua. Your blood, Lord God, your blood is victorious for us, Lord God. Just like when the, 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 you throw down the stones of Jerusalem, Lord God, and they said, we will rebuild. And they built. This is the statement that Satan is making in the city of New York right now. Because in the middle of Jerusalem is USA. And it's no coincidence that these three words spell Jerusalem, USA. Because the USA is a reflection. It's a reflection of Israel. Because most of the Jews went there. They went there. Your people went there. You said that you will gather us from the places where you scatter us from, where you scatter us. You will call your people back, Lord God. You said in your word, Lord God, that if we seek you, we will find you, Father. And even so, right now, Lord God, as they just keep cutting, 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 cutting. And they're trying to frustrate me, Father. But they can't frustrate you, Lord God. And if you are the one in charge, Lord God, then your word will go forth. And the people will get smart. Yes, Lord God, the people will get so smart. Thank you, Father. The people will get so smart. Thank you, Father. Because the building that they built in New York is not a freedom tower. It's not a, a center of hope. It's not something that is to be proud of. Because they're throwing that in your face as the Tower of Babel. They're throwing that in your face as we have rebuilt. You threw it down. You confounded our... Wow. Here we go. You confounded our language in times of old. And guess what they're saying? Now we have come up with symbols to communicate. To rebel against the Most High. That's how the occult comes up. That's how the Illuminati comes up. That's how Freemasonry comes up and all these sects of, of cults. and It's disgusting. But they're using symbols to represent Satanism. They're using symbols for rebelling. Amen? That's what they're doing. And no wonder they're cutting the crosses off the buildings. Off the churches, my eyes are going in my head. It's so tiny. <laughs> my eyes are tiny. No wonder they're cutting the cross. They're cutting off the crosses, off the churches, because Satan wants his agenda, and because he's using symbols of all kinds of nonsense. Like for example, let me show you what people call cool. You know, Christians call this cool. So. Let's see if I can draw this. Okay, can you see this? Yeah. So we do a circle like that. Yeah. Can you see that circle? I don't know if you can see a circle. Can you see a circle? I hope you can see that circle. Yeah. And then they do this. They come down. And then they do this. And you know what they call that? Can you guess? They call that peace. And everybody wants a piece of that. Everybody wants a symbol of that on their clothing, on their jewelry, on their shoe. Do you know it's a demonic symbol? Do you know it's a broken cross? I'm telling you if you don't know. Some scary, stupid movies going on here that the eyes, the guy's Eyeballs and who is Satan? What the heck? Okay, I just saw Satan on a movie there. Like he has horns and oh, it's a cult. What the heck? 
I don't know what kind of movie is that. Anyway, so that is Satan's agenda. And that's what he's doing. And he's putting it out there in big, bold blue. Because when he, he dedicated that thing and when he, he just, you know what he said? <laughs> they don't want people to be aware. They want people to be in the dark. That's why there's a showcase of zombies, you know, when the apocalypse comes. And people have taken it into all kinds of things because, oh, we're going to become zombies. Well, guess what? We are already zombies. Not we who are walking in the light of Christ, but those who are walking in the dark. You know why? Because they've been brainwashed and they're walking like if they don't have minds. Uh-oh. I'm striking a nerve to somebody right now. I can hear the devil screaming right now, honestly. Screaming. That kind of um, prideful scream he likes to give off, like when he doesn't have his weight. I can hear him screaming. Ah! Kind of like that. Because, listen, people, people, they come up, they, you know, they're looking at all the, the apocalyptic things and they're saying, you know, this and this and that and that. No, that's where the zombie thing come from, because they're they're wrecking the minds of humanity, and they're they're what they're following an agenda, and they're so blind. The Bible says we're not of the dark, we're of the day. We are not of the dark, we are of the day. Why? Because Jesus is the day. Jesus is light. In Him, there is no sin and darkness. Now, when Father rebukes, when he rebukes, he does it because he loves us. But the Bible tells us that they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. These people that Satan has set up, they are in society. They're already there. What are they? They are false apostles. They are false prophets, false prophetess. They are false teachers. They are false priests. And guess what? They're evangelizing for Satan too. Guess what they're doing else? Satan has a bride. He has a bride. And just like it was when it was time for Jesus to come into the world and die for us, Satan has his time too. Alignment 0404 a.m. Satan has his time to, he know his time is short. His time is very, very short. And he knows that his time is short. So, he's, his, his agenda is to present himself as an angel of light and have all his people present themselves holy people because they believe that, guess what? In the reign of the Antichrist and in the tribulation, three and a half years to the seven years yeah that they're going to reign and it's going to be but he's not saying three and a half and seven you know he's saying that if they, they join with him they're going to be enough and they're going to overthrow um christians here and god has this is what this is the lie this is the lie that they're spreading that god has said if they if they win the battle here they could have the earth so in other words, rebellion could continue and they could live in their reprobate minds. God didn't say that. When did God say that? God never said that. But again, the devil comes to lie, steal, kill, and destroy. His sole purpose is to destroy. His countenance has fallen so bad because of pride. And just like that, our countenance felt, falls as well. And our countenance falls when we are pride and puffed up. That's why it's not good to hate. It gives in to murder. And it, it's kind of strange because some churches teach us to murder. Kill, kill, kill. You know, but... The Lord is God. And if He is God, let Him be God and every man a liar. Amen? No. What did I leave out? I think I hit the head on the nail when I just started to, I did it without, you know, without the scripture here, but at least you guys have it there. 
um, these are all things that they're, they're, they're trying to bring together. So because humanity is in a state of reprobate mindness, is that a word? I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? They're focused on the world. They're focused on things of the sight, smell, taste, hearing, touch. Now Satan wants his agenda accomplished and his agenda is to be crowned God of this earth. So what is he going to do? He's going to use the things that we need. So like fruit. That's why the Bible says in Revelations that he causes all, both great and small, rich and poor, slave and free, to take the mark. No one could buy or sell unless they had the mark. The mark of the beast. So on one hand, the sealing of God has come. Because the people, while all these abominations are being done, yeah, God kind of, he showed us what he was doing in Ezekiel 9 because it said, go and put a mark of God on the men who are crying over the abominations being done in the city. But then in Revelations, it comes and it says, unless you take the mark of Satan, the number of his name, um, you cannot buy or sell. So there's two marks being given. There's two ceilings. One is to obedience. One is to the word, and it's very serious. Amen? That's how God is working. He's, he's sealing us up with his spirit. And even as he said, in our foreheads and on our hands. In our foreheads and on our hands. I really want to see what movie that is. I think it's some kind of Antichrist movie or something. I don't know. That's why the guy, the guy's eyes were missing. Okay. It's kind of weird. Ooh. Now, they're even doing this. They've been showing um, the key, the key, the key. Guess why? Because when Satan is defeated, yeah, an angel has a key to the bottomless pit, a chain in his hand. Yeah, but but there's one, and the Spirit actually led me to this. Last year when we had the eclipse, hmm, should I say it? I don't want to say it. Should I say it? Okay, last, this was a conviction. Last year when we had the eclipse on August the 21st, when the sun was darkened out, the smoke of the abyss darkened out the sun. What do you mean? That's what I... I got in my, in, by the spirit, okay, because, I mean, I don't know, it makes sense, it makes sense when he told me it, and it's like, listen, even before Obama, there have been Antichrist in the world, Satan has been trying to accomplish his, his thing 6,000 years now, and he's not stopping, and he's not going to stop, because when angels fall, they're already spiritual beings. There's no place for him to go but down. His countenance has already fallen. Now, demons, that have fallen, they're going to do his bidding because he's threatening them. He's threatening them and he beats them and he tortures them. But they're still, they're evil because they, fall, they followed him. And now there's nowhere else for them to go because they'll never come back into heaven. All right? So... So now God has given over humanity to blindness because that's what they want to follow. That the fullness of the Gentiles might come in. So the Jews even, they're in blindness. But the reprobate, those with the reprobate minds in the world, they are the darkness that the light of God could shine in his people. And Christ is coming back. And when is he coming back? When everybody gets relaxed, even the Christians. When they get relaxed and they say, man, Jesus isn't coming back now, probably another millennium. And everybody relaxes. And nobody nobody sees an urgency to really evangelize or do the word or get busy for him. There will be some, but most of them will sleep. Because the Bible tells us that the foolish virgins and the wise virgins, both, they fell asleep while the bridegroom delayed. The thing is, the foolish didn't take oil. 
but the smart ones took oil. So when they woke up from their nap or whatever, they had oil. So there could be a period where we fall into deception. But we have enough oil to take us through to the midnight hour and see where the groom is coming. We have enough word to test things and know what Satan is up to. See how that works? We have the Spirit of God inside that is shining a light onto our path. Because that's what the Word of God is, isn't it? Thy Word is a lamp onto our feet and a light onto our path. Amen? So, beloved, I'm just leaving you with this now. Um, it's late. It's 4-12. Um, it's about it. I covered it. But I can go deeper still, and I have to go deeper still into the churches. Because there are... You see, they deny the power of the cross because it keeps them on the pulpit. So some people are doing this. Some people are because the Spirit will lead you to your roots, which is the Hebrew way because Christ was raised up as a Jew. He is the King of the Jews. Therefore, we are Jews circumcised inwardly. But because of that, Satan's even trying to twist that. So what did he what did he do? You know what he did? He he brings along doctrine that says do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do that, do that, do this. And even some people take the Sabbath out of context. God wants us to rest from our labor on the Sabbath. We better believe it. The worldly things that we do, our daily routine, and just be about him. Totally about him. All about him. He doesn't mind if you want to go out there on Sabbath and get sweaty for the gospel. You tire out yourself for the gospel. He loves that. But when you say don't move your hand because you're breaking the Sabbath, and don't move your feet, and don't pray for this one, and don't, don't heal, that's where you become self-righteous, and God doesn't want that. All right? God doesn't want that. So... There are things that they're bringing in that are Pharisees and Sadducees. So it's as if the Messiah hasn't come, or if they profess that he has come, what he's done is not enough. And that is the danger. And that's where they're messing up the holy things of God. Because people are watching them who call themselves Jews, but inwardly they're not. That's why he said in Revelations, I will cause those who say they are Jews, but inwardly they're not, to come and bow down at your feet. He says that. I think in three or something. Or nine. I don't know. Uh, let me, uh, when I'm finding the scripture, I'll find it. So I've got to put all these together, and maybe I just put them all like this. I don't know. However it goes, it goes. Once it goes, I want it to go. All right? So... Hence the rising of all kinds of people. There are all kinds of churches. Some, some people have pieces of the Bible. Not the whole thing. Some take the Old Testament. They build a church on that. Some build on the New Testament. They build a church on that. What else? They take the literal thing when they say... Um, when they say... Um, upon this rock... I build my church. So they say Peter. And that's where the Roman Catholic. They come in with their paganism. They worship saints. And if you read the word of God. It tests all things. You will see where he says. Don't worship dead saints. Don't do it. Do not do it. Things like. Mediums and. All of that. God says don't do it. Do not do it. And people are doing it. They're, they're bringing sorcery. And um, they're bringing sorcery and divination. And I didn't say prophecy. And worship of angels. And all of these things. Into um, the church. The church. Because Satan's not going to come out here and say, I am Satan. And 
with his 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 horns and his, his tail and and you know as you worship me no he's coming out decked out handsome comeliness in appearance or not maybe and then the things that he, he looks like a lamb but he speaks like a dragon they have the power they have the the look of godliness but they deny the power thereof so they look holy but look at what they teach and they preach it is not of god it denies the power of god it denies the power of christ it denies the holiness of god and the throne of god and that's what satan wants he wants the word of god denied that he could be um, esteemed that he could be exalted all right so i'm leaving you with this word and um i'll see if i can put it together or if um i don't know if he wants me to just post it like this because it's a lot and it's enough amen just give you some homework to do or maybe i could search it deeper there's always things that he can do deeper and just like he gave it before he can do it again and he'll do it again and he'll do it again and he's doing it again because he's father he doesn't change all right so god bless you in jesus name adrian see he did it again he did it again so um as you said you're messing around with the internet so let me clear up my computer and clear up my phone a little bit i have a lot of pictures on it and um, they're off the sky, about 19,000 of them. And um, they'll work better, hopefully. But I think they're monitoring me on here anyway. So, you know, however we do it, we do it. And um, God, by God, by the grace of God, we will succeed. Amen? We will succeed by the grace of God and by the blood of the Lamb. Because that's how we're coming through victorious nothing else and no other way so god bless you beloved you see how he did it you see how he did it he did it all again it's awesome he's awesome yay daddy <laughs> i don't think i missed out anything um except that when they put up the face of kali on the building they put the lion there and you know what they said it's for the preservation of the animal <laughs> Yeah, they'll fool the people who are in the world like that. But we know the Spirit research um, reveals all things. Listen, he said he'll teach you all things when he comes. And he said also, um, ah, he just gave me a word, he just gave me a word. Ah! Okay, there we go. It's the honor of God, or it's the something of God. It's the glory of God to hide a matter. And the honor of kings to search out a matter. And what are we? We are royal priesthood. We are royalty, beloved. Royalty in our Father, Jesus Christ. Amen. So God bless you. In this holy and most precious name, Jesus Christ. I love you and Jesus loves you. Amen. My eyes are like Chinese. Look, they've gone down. <laughs> time to sleep. Time to knock. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Bye for now. Okay.